Hello everyone and welcome. This is Jane from JaneLiberated.com. I am here once again to add value to your life. Whatever you do, wherever you go, add value to people's life and your life will never remain the same. I am here with an exciting topic today. Why you must stop sowing painful seed. In most of the churches we have now, everywhere you turn to, there are prophets, prophetess, apostles, trying to scam people of their money, of their possession, of their materials, all in the name of sowing a painful seed. I must confess, it is the greed of human beings that has driven us to these false prophets and they took advantage of a lot of people and turned them into their merchandise. What is a painful seed? A painful seed is what the prophet or the preacher will ask the congregation or the followers to sow into his hands, into his pockets, so that you will get the blessings. If you are looking for a spouse, if you are looking for a child, what the prophet will tell you is go and sow a painful seed. The bigger your sacrifice, the quicker your blessing, the bigger your, uh, your sowing, your painful seed, the bigger or the quicker you will re receive the miracle from God. But if you look at it, God has never, or Jesus has never asked us to pay a seed. All the miracles Jesus did in the Bible when he was on earth, it was done for free. And if you look at it very well, Jesus was constant with one word. Go, your faith has made you whole. So if you look at the whole scenario today, if your faith is stable, if you are rooted in the word of God, if you know your scriptures and you allow Jesus to be revealed to you personally, all this drama of sowing a painful seed, giving a prophetic offering, a prophetic seed to the pastors, to the preachers, to the prophet, prophetess, apostles is not needed. How are you going to go and look for money to sow a seed just because you are looking for a child? If you read the Bible, everything is given to you. And if you look at the book of Philippians 4.19, I am going to read. It said, my God, my God, meaning our God, the maker of heaven and earth, shall supply all our needs, all your needs, according to his riches and glory by Jesus Christ. He didn't say by the prophet. He did not tell you that he will supply all your needs according to the seed you sow. He said, according to my riches in glory, meaning everything we need has already been provided. Only we have to instigate that faith in us. We have to activate that faith. We have to know the word of God. We have to know the scriptures to pick out from the whole Bible to begin to demand and get our inheritance or enjoy the free inheritance that Jesus have come to die for us so that we will have life and have it abundantly. If you look at it, can that prophet, can that man of God, those first ones, I must tell you there are good ones. Good ones don't, doesn't demand for painful sacrifice. When you are blessed, you go on your own and, and give a seed or an offering to the church. But what you hear in most of the churches today is come and sow a painful seed. Come and sow a painful sacrifice. Give me prophetic offering. The bigger it is, the better for you. No, what about the poor people in the congregation? What about those that are those, don't even have money to eat? What about the widows that have lost their husbands? What about those that cannot even pay their house rents? Many, God will not bless so, such people because they were not able to give money to the prophet. The price of God, the blessings of God, the things of God does not have price. God cannot be predicted. He is a reliable God. Stop allowing this false prophet to take advantage of your ignorance. He said, my people died, they perished because of lack of ignorance. Ignorance of what? Of the word of God. 
Even the prophet that is asking you to sow a painful seed cannot even die for a fly, not to talk of crucifying himself or being crucified for your own sin. Jesus has paid the price. Jesus has set you free. Hold on to your faith. Go in search of scriptures that is relevant to what you are passing through. Apply to your situation. Believe. Because God has said in Philippians 4, 19, that he is going to supply all. He didn't say one, two, three. All your needs according to his riches in glory. Stop patronizing these false prophets. Come to think of it. Why must you buy what you have gotten freely? Why must you continue to sow seed? Even the people you are giving the seed, they cannot even solve their own problems. I happen to be in a place, sorry to use this as an example, but it is for a reason. If you know that pain of sacrifice can really give you a child, some people don't even have children. Some preachers, pastors, prophets, they don't even, their wives don't have children. And they are demanding for you to pay a seed so that you will get a child. It is all scam. Wake up, Africans. Wake up, people of God. Jesus has died for our sins. We are liberated. We are no longer in bondage. We have been set free by the death of Jesus on the cross of Calvary. Until you begin to realize this, you might continue to round the same circle, blaming your problems, blaming that situation on an innocent people or on innocent people thinking they are the one holding your breakthrough. No. Check deep down in yourself. Begin to search for faith. Begin to hold on to that word of God and your life will never remain the same. I hope I have succeeded in adding just a little value to your life today. Please say no to false doctrine and the prophets. Say no to their teachings. Say yes to the gospel, the true gospel of Jesus Christ. Please, if you are new to my YouTube channel, do subscribe, like, share this video with your friends, all your contacts. You never know who you will be helping and saving from the hands of these false prophets. Please, I also blog every single day. They are motivational blogs. Check them out. And if you want to receive my motivational guide every week, it starts, it comes on Monday. It is for your day. It is for you to start your day in a positive mindset or with a positive mindset. Please check the link in the description box. It will take you to my website where you can leave your email and you will be a part of this happy family. And I am so excited to tell you my new single will soon be out. Be on the watch. It will bless your soul and your life will never remain the same. Remember, I am your sister in Christ. Love you all. Bye for now.